Good morning and welcome to the Brenda Perryman Show right here on TV 33, WHPR, Comcast 90 in Detroit and Oakland County and www.tv33whpr.com courtesy of the World Wide Web and we have an action-packed show for you today. We have fashion entertainment. We have Miss Joan Belgrave on in our second session. So Please don't leave that TV. And first, we're going to talk about doing business in Detroit. And I have my guests, mm -hmm. Richard Welch of Silver Fox Furs and Lynette Hall Hallelay. 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 How are you this morning? Well, thank you. Fantastic. Oh, that's good. That's good. But you know, you all do business in Detroit, right? Yeah, we, we both do. As a matter of fact, I've been doing business in Detroit for about 40 years. Well, that's a good thing. You've liked it. Yeah. You know, that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. And Lynette, what about yourself? Well, I'm a knitwear designer, and I've been doing business in Detroit for about four years. And these are all handmade knits. All handmade. I knit with my hands, with my arms, and also with knitting needles. Wow. I, I started knitting once. And man, it was just so tedious. I said, I got to get out of here. I ran myself out. So, uh, well, why don't we start, though, with uh, some of the models that you have so that we can um, show our viewers before we even talk about it. So, All right. Well, um, I would like to start with my model, Valeria. Valerie, excuse me. Valerie is wearing a hand knit right item. A little. This is one of my arm knit items. It's um, made with multi strands of yarn and we call it the yak it mimics a yak fur so this is my way of bringing a wonderful garment with an avant-garde twist wow. these are three mm. different types of wool yarn to create the illusion of being a knotted fur wow it does mm -hmm. it's beautiful and Thank her you. hair is sharp. Isn't her sh hair beautiful? Yes, it she is. She has her hair done at Salon Jacqueline and Spa. Oh, with okay. With Deborah Kemp Jack and Jackson. Okay, get that shout out in. Hey. Okay, <laughs> next. My next model is Erica. Erica is wearing a longer version oh, of, the love it. of the pink item. This is also the yak done with arm knit yarn. And it's three different types of blue. So it creates a long flowing feel to it. Like, you know, she reminds me of Diana Ross on stage. I know. Title. Reach <laughs> out and touch. <laughs> well, my throat this morning is <laughs> done. <laughs> well, thank you, Erica. Thank you. Now we have Miss Stephanie. Stephanie is wearing one of my machine knit creations. Stephanie's my Facebook friend. All right. Uh, Stephanie is well known in the community for her jewelry line. Yes. Which she's I'd wearing as jewelry. well. Yes. But um, going back to the yarns that I use on this garment, there are three to four different yarns. And this is what I mm. consider the studio mix. This is wow. all done on the machine. And I created the pattern for this. Garment. This is beautiful. This I is just love the way it wraps and everything. Uh, and uh. It's, it's more on the lines of my elegant um, garments. That is great. And she's wearing it so well. Thank Very you, Miss well. Stephanie. Thank, Thank you, Stephanie. You. And now we have one, another. Another one. Um, oh, I also this is always gorgeous. love to feature my machine knits when I can. Oh, that's this beautiful. This is a machine knit mm -hmm. item. And it's a bat wing design that I have created in hues of red. Now, this is something that you would wear to stop traffic. That's right. why it's all in red, to stop traffic. And the beautiful Miss Erica is wearing it well. <laughs> very well. Very well. Love the hair. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a like a shorter version. This is a shorter version of what? Stephanie had on. The reason I created this is I love my little leather jackets. S and with this weather, you just can't wear a leather jacket. You would throw this item on top, and it will give you the additional warmth that you would need. Right. And this is called my wrap 
front sweater again created by me on the knitting machine okay gosh knitting machine yes maybe if i had that i wouldn't have given up i agree you would okay, not have given thank up. you so thank, thank you. you ladies thank, thank you very much one more item okay real quick and this is stephanie um i create knitted items on my arm and in different fabrics this is knitted leather Jeez. This is arm knit leather. God, it makes me want to go out and beat somebody. <laughs> well, wow. You, it's, it's not that serious. Oh, oh, but <laughs> oh, 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 what am I thinking? This is just an example of how I can transfer any fabric, any skin, into a knitted garment. You are really talented. Well, thank you. Stephanie, thank that you. is beautiful. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. I really appreciate you giving me this Oh, time. no, that's no problem. We're going to talk a little more, too. Rick? Yeah, well, I'm waiting for our models to get some coats on. Oh, and our, our first model. model. Okay, we have one right now. I love this coat. I sincerely love yes, this coat. It's a beautiful coat. The um, style is called Degrad Day. It's a combination of your mahogany and whiskey. Now, this coat has oversized collar which can actually go into a hood, if you'd like to wear it as a hood. This is a very unique piece, scallop bottom. It's probably one of the most popular pieces right now in the country. And to be honest, uh, we can't even get it again. Wow. That's a beautiful piece, yeah. So is it for sale? It's for sale. <laughs> I don't have anything in the store that's not for sale. Oh, even yourself, huh? Yeah. OK. Now, this <laughs> is one of the most popular things on the rack now. What this is, this is a mink, knitted mink poncho you're so kidding this in every color is the most popular thing on the rack on the rack right now as a matter of, we can't keep these in i'll tell you they it's, come in different colors different, easy to wear you can wear it over anything it's at a time when you you, you don't want to wear something a full length because you may feel overdressed but you can feel appropriately dressed in because it complements anything that you put on like okay great very lightweight too great Now okay. this is mink here. This is what you call a seven-eighths length. It's not Gee. a full length. It's not a jacket. It's not a jacket. This is a seven-eighths length with a belt. It's very comfortable to wear. A lot of color. And this is two different shades of mink also. Show the audience how it looks with it closed. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. That here is again, gorgeous. These are two very unique coats. Um, right now, the thing is having things that are different. Mm -hmm. No one wants to look like everyone else. That's right. We try to pride ourselves we're going all over the well, world. Well, you don't want to see Where's yourself. That's right. Okay. Especially when you something big to get item right Okay. Now. Okay. Now, the next piece here, this. Oh, my this wow. Is here. This Reminds is me of Joan Crawford with yes. those shoulders. This piece is a natural female skin black garment coat. That's a cape with tails on it. And at the neckline, that looks like rhinestone. Those are crystals. And crystals on the tails. Wow. This coat has become our signature coat that we use in most of our ads. It gets plenty of attention, easy to wear, lightweight, and just an elegant coat. Wow, it wow. sure is. Okay, one more here. One more. Oh, leather. this is nice. Leather is definitely in. We carry oh, so many of things. This is the black lambskin leather. That's with the green fox collar and cuff. The thing about the cuff and collar on this, they're detachable. You can wear this coat without the collar and cuff as you like, or with it, as you see. Very full swing coat, very easy to wear. Fits in multiple sizes. No matter what you wear under it, because the way it's constructed, it'll fit over it. Wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, uh, one last piece, because we have another person this coming up here. Too. Piece here. Oh, this wow. Is, this is Italian Look. lambskin oh. leather. This is it's so beautiful. It's oh. in uh, fox. And Stephanie, actually, you should buy it's that. Leather, but it's a oh. shearling. This is imported shearling. Shearlings right now, people are kind of sick of wearing that old shearling look. Right, so this the is different. Are doing now, they're upgrading it completely. Give it a whole different look. It's beautiful, beautiful. Don't worry about walking past yourself anywhere you walk into a room. Right. I That's walk true. into a room and That's all true. eyes are upon me. And uh, this is great. And these are things that you can get in Detroit and, I mean, are carried in Detroit. Ricky, speak yes. to that a little well, bit. Well, I'll tell you, what I've really been pushing is that you do not have to go across Eight Mile to get 
quality, style, service, or price. It's right here. As a matter of fact, in Detroit now, we have so many unique boutiques. This is what I call them. Just seek them out. These are people who I salute because they wake up every morning and go out to make a living in this business. Help them help Detroit come back. These I love boutique shopping. Yes, I love it. Unique, very unique, unique shopping. But please help them help you. And Lynette, where can they find your fashions? In several boutiques around the city of Detroit. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be at the Black Dress Company, and that's located on Canfield. I also have garments in Suave Chic, which is downtown in the Eastern Market. Wow. And then my showroom is in Southfield at Salon Jacqueline and Spa. Wow, you, beautiful thing. Well, I'd like to mention we're in the New Center One building. That's Silver mm -hmm. Fox Furs. New Center One, right on West Grand Boulevard and Second. When you come into the store, ask for Richard because I want to personally take care of all my customers. Oh, he does. He really does. Make sure you get the best price. One day he'll service. be taking care of his friend who's sitting here, <laughs> and uh, we talk all the time. But neither here. We have a lot of surprises coming down the pipe, don't we? I just want to thank everyone that has come in and helped us and supported us throughout the years. Well, Thank we you. want to go for a quick break because I have another person who's coming up here who's going to show some other things. So if we could go for a quick break, and then we'll be right back. Thank you. We have another guest for you, Ms. Bliss Curitan. Good morning, Bliss. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And you have a very unique business. Would you tell our audience all about it? And it's environmentally fr uh, friendly, right? Yes, yes. Uh, with a lot of uh, style hmm? uh, behind it. We're located on uh, Livernois and Outer Drive, uh, the Avenue of Fashion. Uh, we carry everything from fashion, organic fashion, uh, upcycled pieces, recycled pieces. And we have some of our items here today, uh, since we're talking about fashion today. Um, we have organic bedding, linen, uh, organic um, items that will pull toxins out of your body, and we also have our own brand of non-toxic cleaning products. Yes, uh, we'll have the ladies walk out here and show the purses bit by bit. Now this bag has been made out of recycled pop can tops. Uh, this is a company based out of California. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I like how long it hangs. Oh, I love this. This, is this piece is uh, made by a girlfriend of mine based out of Chicago. She makes purses out of uh, scraps of leather. Whoa, this is beautiful. Whoa, that's and right. Now this piece is one of our best sellers. This is a solar messenger bag. This will charge any handheld device, including a tablet or iPad. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. I so mean, you don't have to look for an outlet when your phone ch dies. You can just charge it in this bag. That's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, environmentally friendly is very important because right now you see how the climate is changing across the country yes, it's rapidly. it's scary it's really really scary right. and detroiters need to learn to start shopping in detroit we really do if we can control our economic future here if we realize how much money we do spend outside of detroit this can help keep some of our businesses in business these are people that have stepped out on their own and I'm gonna tell you that's a rough step that's brave and they need all of your support I just wish everyone I'm shop here first you may go out somewhere else in the end but always check with one of your local businesses believe me and they're all over the place in the Avenue of Fashion the Avenue of Fashion uh, really has a lot of different businesses on it well I've noticed myself that uh, Ferndale uh, residents have been coming over shopping on the Avenue of Fashion. So it's really made a comeback. Right. Because I remember the days, the old days of oh, the yeah. Avenue of Fashion on Livernois between, well, it's it goes past 7 Mile. Between 7 and 8. Uh, between seven and eight. Yeah. 
really. But they're opening up shops, uh, shops across Seven Mile going um, south. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They have. They've been opening them up, and it's just wonderful to see, and it's wonderful to see businesses there. We have restaurants now yes. and everything. A few other American restaurants that are opening up. Uh, oh, more restaurants are opening up. In yes. about a month or so, I believe. Uh, and it's odd to say this, but it's like a waiting list. You can't yeah. even. Really? Um, buildings that have been remodeled. You can't even get in because it's a wait. They've, they've already been taken. Yeah. Gee. There are people coming in from out of state that have actually did their research and seen that the place to be right now for the future is the Avenue of Fashion. I spoke with several of them. Right. But you've been in New Center One for how long? 24 years we've been. Isn't that amazing? Uh, and there again, I just say thank you to everyone who supported us. Well, talk about some of the diversity of businesses in Detroit. What kinds of other businesses? Okay, we have furriers. We have people with natural products. And that's so important, ladies and gentlemen, because with some people can get sick with unnatural things. <laughs> florists? Yes, we do. We have florists. We have a lot of artists right there on Avenue Fashion also. A lot of art galleries. Oh, yes, I've been fashion. to the art galleries. And we know that we have a multitude of beauty salons, and these ladies do excellent work. Excellent work, known all over the country for the work they do yes, in Detroit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Detroit, believe it or not, is becoming known nationally and even out of the country as a destination for fashion. Read Crane Magazine, Huffington Post, read some of the articles. They talk about things that are being discussed in other countries. Their destination is Detroit because fashion right now, this is a fashion hub. Manufacturing, the selling, the designing. We have two top world designers right here now. Monty uh, Holland for suits, top male suit designer, black male suit designer in the country. And the girl Stacy uh, that made Obama's wife's dress. Is Trace, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. And also Beulah Tracy Reese. Tracy Reese. And Beulah Cooley, she's world-renowned, considered one of the top ten black designers in the country, well, right here in Detroit. That's what I heard. Yes, I heard yes, that. That's um, just, well, so much creativity, we don't need to talk, yeah. has come out of Detroit. We know that. And it's funny because I've performed other places all around the country, <laughs> and people have said, where are you from? I said, Detroit. They said, dang. People, you know, and the thing is, we have to show love to our people right. here. We really have to show them love. I agree with you so much. We do. And like I said, we're respected everywhere. Well, these fashion designers need to be highlighted. And like you said, you have natural sheets. Yes, organic. And organic. Ba organic and bamboo. And bamboo. Bamboo is stronger, so they're going to last longer. Really? Yes. Do you carry all the sizes? Yes, except California King. Oh, well, don't mm -hmm. worry about California <laughs> King. That's that's really big. Um, yeah. It's really big because I accidentally bought one for my bed. I said, God, I felt I was drowning. <laughs> I said, what is this? But um, you have also plastic wares. Uh, wait a minute. You have sheets. Tell us all the things. Sheets. Uh, we really push our Green Bliss non Non-toxic cleaning products, which are manufactured That's so important. here in Detroit. That's so important, yeah. the non-toxic right. products. Cause and they're green the, seal certified also. Some of these other products, you open them and you feel like you're going to pass out. Right. <laughs> so with our company, they went the extra mile to make sure they got that certification. So how did you get into doing this? So, uh, in 2007, I was at a party, and a conversation about global warming came up and I had no idea you know I, I couldn't um, join in on the conversation so at that point that evening I just started doing research and it just became an obsession so uh, I came up with this concept I spent some time in LA and I wanted this concept is oversaturated in LA and I wanted to bring that back here See, but it, there's so much smog and everything in L.A., mm -hmm. too, so they're pretty up on the, the environment. Here, I think we're finally starting to get the message. Right. It's a very slow process here. 
change is a slow process right. in Detroit. You know, change changes. Now, Ricky, with your shop, you offer some different uh, ways to pay. Yeah, we have actually pioneered what we call extended layaway. And, and mine have mean, to be you know, extended. Like, I must <laughs> say that the late, great Martha Jean the Queen actually introduced that to our store. It allows the customer to come in and put 10% down on a coat. You have a three-year window to get it out. You can get it out anytime before then if you like. I'd also like to mention, right now, everything in the store is on sale. If you come in, come in and see me, you can get a better price. And mm -hmm. if you mention the Brenda Perriman Show, you definitely get a better price. But come in and see us 10 to 5.30 every day, Monday through Saturday, right there at New Center 1 on the first floor. But stop in and see us. And they know all. furs. They know furs. I've been doing it 40 years, so I know a little bit. I learned something. What made you decide to start doing furs? When I left Eastern Michigan with you, <laughs> went back to my hometown, Grand Rapids, it was nothing. Got a job at Hudson, was managing the fur department, downtown in Northland, and the rest is history. It sure is. Well, listen, I'd like to thank you all for coming and bringing your beautiful, beautiful wares. It's just been phenomenal. We'd like to thank you, Brenda, for making this possible. Thanks well, so much. oh, it's no problem. No problem because uh, and Small Business Saturday is when? The, I believe, is it the 29th? I think so. 29th. The 29th. Let's not forget, but we can go before then and you'll most, get a deal. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, okay, I said it. I put it out there. So we will I'll be back in just a moment with the fantastic singer, Mrs. Joan Belgrade.